Hello, welcome back to another Comic Pressing 101. I try my best to make this series in order so that when someone later watch it from episode 1 to whatever number, it's a linear series of videos that help someone learn how to press book, but occasionally I fail. And this is one of those videos that I think should have been done maybe in the first three or four instead of being, I think this is number 12 or 13. Regardless, when I press book, okay, often it is just one book here, one book there. I don't do in volume because I don't press professionally, I don't press for friends, very rare, occasionally. So a, a lot of time, sometimes I don't press anything but one or two books a week. Sure, sometimes I get a, a week, a busy week where I might press three or four in one day kind of thing, but it's rare, okay? Most of the time it is one book here, one book there. So, I don't operate in high volume, okay? So, once again, this is just my way of doing things. I have no idea how other people do it. You heard me talk in the very first episodes about pressing everything at 135 degrees. Yes, that's how I do it. Um, if I just have one book to press, okay? I would turn on the machine let it heat up so that the temperature show me 135, 140-ish. And I prep the book and then I put the book under the press, close the lid. Usually at that very point, if this is the only book, if this is the only book that I am pressing that day, I would then turn off the machine so that it would naturally and slowly cool down I don't keep track, but I think if I heat it up to 135, 140 degrees and let it cool down naturally, it might take 40 minutes. It doesn't matter because a lot of time I put the book under the press, close the lid, turn off the machine right then, right then. And then I forget about it, okay? I come back, say, three hours later when it's completely cool off. I don't even have to do any kind of proper cool down. I open the lid, depend on what flaws there is on the back cover. If it's done, it's done. If it needs to be pressed as far as the back cover and flip it over, then I will prep the back cover, turn on the machine again, okay, to get it hot again, and then put the book under and press the back cover and once again turn off the machine right away let it cool down and I forget about it sometime next day take it out book is perfectly done no not need to press anymore done okay now what if I have three books that I need to press this morning and I really in a hurry to press all three books well guess what that is one of the occasions where I would leave the temperature on at 135. I'm not going to turn off the machine. I will put the first book in, close the lid, literally in a few minutes, not even five minutes, okay? Trust me. It's all depend on the flaws, okay? Once again, it is not written in stone that a book can be pressed in one minute or two minutes. This is how I do it, okay? If I have three books, a lot of this is gonna be common sense, but I'm just gonna outline it so that people understand my methodology. If I have three books, I will look at three books, determine which one need the least, the least amount of work, the one that can be pressed quickly like that. That go first. Second one, same thing. The toughest one, the one with the most flaw, the one that need extra amount of time under the press, that one will go last. So, 
the first one go in I keep the temperature on I don't even bother to turn off the machine two or three minutes later take the book out properly cool the book put it aside take the second book that I prep and ready slide it in under the press close the lid once again wait two or three minutes Two or three minutes is more than sufficient to fix most of the minor flaws. Any flaws that are light, light bend, light curl, light indentation, a lot of the light stuff can be pressed fairly quickly. I'm not talking hours, okay? I'm talking minutes. But this is how I do it. One at a time, quickly. So really, in literally under 10 minutes, I should be able to press, take it out, proper cool, slide in the second book, press, take it out, proper cool, take the first book if needed, flip it over, press again, take it out, proper cool down, and the second book if need to flip, so on and so forth, right? Only when I get to the last book that need more than two or three minutes under the press, that's when I put it under the third book under the press close the lid turn off the machine and forget about it for the next couple hours let it press let it stay under the press for however long I have doing other things wash the dishes cook dinner who knows what and then come back later okay that's how I do it I don't leave the machine on for hours I don't need to press a book under any kind of hot temperature for hours you have seen the results I have seen I have shown many results on my channel many dozens and dozens and dozens and guess what that's how they are all done nothing stay under the press for an hour at 135 degrees or whatever it is nothing if I need to leave the machine on the only reason the only reason that the machine stay on is that I have multiple books lined up that will go under the press in the next few minutes otherwise it is off okay that's how I do it all right so once again I can't stress enough every time I make this kind of video it that it's just my way I have no idea how other people do it, nor do I care how other people do it. I just tell you how I do it and how I was able to get the results that I got. Thanks for watching. Until the next tutorial. Bye-bye.